Guess who's back, back again. Otkin's back, tell a friend. Guess who's back, guess who's back. Guess who's back, guess who's back. The power or base made me look perfect good luck roasting me laughing my ass off. I asked reddit to roast me. Home alone face in the thumbnail. This thread will have more content than the video you'll make about it. Sylvester forever alone. Like every Yautaba who runs out of ideas, you are letting reddit do your job. He's gonna read your post, do a stupid zoom on his face, and say fair enough, that's exactly what I'm doing ha ha ha, and then he's gonna scroll down, and read this prediction out loud in this broken English and his fish eyes will be close to exploding out of his face from astonishment of the metaness, and then I'm gonna watch that video and hate, that I was right. Fuck this thread. I always see your vids on my feed, but I never click on them. 5 million subscribers, still look like you live in your mom's basement. Your fingers look like they should have their own limbs. Someone told me I look like God pressed the random button. You look like an amateur tutorial on how to make your own Planet of the Apes mask. Your hair looks like dehydrated urine. You forgot to dye your eyebrows to match the rest of you. Never half ass dye, whole ass it. Yes yes we get it, you're not like other girls. He looks like God is a poor girl who used him as a tampon, and tried to rinse him afterwards, so she could use him again. You look like, if Simba worked at Starbucks. Your application for acceptance into the human race has been denied. You look like the flying dog dragon thing from Never Ending Story. You look like our Kelly peed on your head constantly for 3 years. I'm a journalist writing about r slash roast mm. Give me some first hand experience. Disclaimer, I'm writing about this in the article. Buzzfeed reporter taking a break from writing articles about the 10 signs your cat is a wizard. Go on. Number 8 will make you vomit. Spoiler, cat cast a vomit spell on you. Writing for a Buzzfeed knockoff doesn't make you a journalist. You're a journalist writing about a subreddit that mocks people with permission. Look up. Look up and see what used to be rock fucking bottom. When I grow up I want to be a journalist. Specifically one that writes about non-news topics like the roast and subreddit and all the creatures of hell that inhabit it. What does my roast and your article have in common? No one is going to reddit or laugh. The fuck kinda journalism is this? Just have a regular excuse everyone believes. Oh no. Who's gonna break the news to op that writing unqualified opinions about something on the internet and posting it on a little online journal doesn't make you a journalist? Poor boy. Will Mayo take my upvote? She actually reached out to us first with questions and wanting to interview our mob team. We did that plus suggested she tries her hand at getting roasted herself for the experience. She was a great sport and agreed. That's a she. If this is considered a journalism worthy subject, then you must write for a print journalism outlet that specializes in lining hamster cages. Bold move going out in daylight. It'll take 1000 words to fill in the space between those teeth. Someone told me I look like Madame Zeroni from Holes. Anyways, I'm ready to be roasted into oblivion, so I can sleep well. I leave and start. You can't take away my rights, if I don't have any sucker. You're the opposite of a Turkish delight. Also known as the Turkish dumpster. I loved you in the cartoon Johnny Quest. Stoning you would be a waste of rocks. That means I wouldn't get stoned so that's good for me. Glad you're not one of those stuck up muslims. They usually explode when you push their buttons. I wish I was big. Oh, fuck, I thought you were Zoltan. Your wife wishes that too. Oh, fuck, we are supposed to be roasting op. It's about time a liberal Muslim woman turned the tables on her male counterparts and demanded equality. Because the only way she'll ever get attention from 72 virgins is by offering herself up on Reddit. You look like the one snake charmer that can't get a snake anywhere near her hole. I'm ready to be roasted into oblivion. So I can sleep well. How many of your brothers said the same thing before they put their vests on? I eat popcorn for dinner and I haven't showered in two weeks please. 
Your whole entire face could stunt double for the back of a cat. You look like a troll doll that's been used as a crack pipe. The face you see when the roofie wears off too early. Is that a refund check from 23andMe? You look like you got an F in a high school reunion. I'm sorry man I can't drive you to court today, and you owe me 20 bucks for drinking all my bush light I keep warm in the garage, so you won't drink it. If duck lips don't look good on hot girls why would guys do them, red flag. Do your worst lol. High fructose corn syrup beat me to it. His friends call him Mountain Drew. If you turn your head upside down, it might have the right dimensions. I had to see what this looked like so here's a shitty 5 minute photoshop. You look like you have a couch that's also a toilet. He's the size of a couch and has the smell of a toilet. He looks like he'll be one of those people that will grow into the couch and be featured on TLC's next rendition of my 600 pound life. When was the last time you physically saw your penis without the aid of mirror? If diabetes, unhealthy search history, and crippling loneliness had a face, this would be it. You smell so bad your nostrils are growing back together on instinct. Roast me, that's gonna take a while. You look like the creepy guy who cleans and opens the gym at 5am and swears he put fresh water in the jacuzzi while pissing in it. I'm 22 and I live in my parents guest house. I'm guessing out of the 90 plus photos it took you to get this picture, you thought this one best exemplified your horse neck. The guest house is actually a stable. If my parents could afford to put me in a guest house, I'd be happy, but you look like you could suck a lemon without making a face. Crippling depression will do that to ya. Or having a face that could suck the joy from antidepressants. The crease in your chin makes your shirt look ironed. Or yes the mighty, but chin I inherited from my father. You inherited his tits too. His abiger. I've been looking at this picture for 10 minutes, and I'm yet to find something distinguishably unique about you. There ain't much. You aren't wearing a bra, have a giraffe neck, made a cute picture of herself with a orchid dress and necklace to gain some popularity. You are just craving for attention, while hiding that you feel empty inside. B.O. I like cosplay and cook. Yeah, this proves that you never wander outside, and Reddit is your only connection to outside world. I've seen bigger breasts in a bucket of KFC. I'm sure the thighs had more meat on them too. Definitely the type of girl who uses her looks to get whatever she wants until she hits the wall and can't rely on it anymore and resorts to dirty deeds to feed the drug addiction. I compare thee to an oil painting by Picasso. Asymmetrical and weird looking, everything's at a slant and out of perspective. You're like an optical illusion. I have to keep looking away because you make my eyes hurt. You're one of those autostereograms. I keep trying to see a beautiful woman but just can't. Your parents are obviously so disturbed by your appearance they renamed your room the guest house so you don't stay too long. From hero to zero. I truly suck at fantasy football and deserve to get roasted. Let's see it. I'm sure you'll make a great stepdad one day. He looks like the kind of guy whose kids love their stepdad more than him. You also suck at fantasy sex. Kinda sucks your pube mustache doesn't connect to your pube beard. You look like a dude who peaked in high school, but still thinks he's the shit. Edit, and tells people about how good you were 10 years ago, but had to stop because of an injury. Your parents taking away your Guitar Hero game because you left too many crusty socks on your bedroom floor doesn't mean you went from hero to zero. I'll bet my first round draft pick you're bald under that hat, and you wear a hat basically anywhere that isn't a funeral, or watching your cousins marry each other. You see wearing a hat all through junior high and high school was cool, because you were defying the no hat policy. But as your hair exponentially started to fall out in your early 20s, along with any football brain cells you may have had, the hat became your identity. You are as generic as the remaining foam, after pouring a pitcher of Bud Light. You're about as interesting as your Spotify playlist of Kenny Chesney, Luke Bryan, and one Eminem song. 
so we don't think you're racist. When I go to a bar and there's one pool table with one dude who chalks the cue between every shot and man spreads his way around the table like a dog marking his territory there you are, the hat guy. Thanks for watching guys. And as always, stay awesome, mahara, brofist, dab, like and sub.